We all know the world is changing, but what is it changing to? 30 years ago, who would have ever thought that we would have cell phones? Not even laptops or smartphones. Today, people can communicate with each other from anywhere in the world through that small device. And it's not just communication that has changed, but the way we get our news, information, and entertainment too. 30 years ago, you had to watch sitcoms at night or read paper newspapers for your latest news stories. Now there is Netflix and mobile apps like Twitter where people can follow their favorite celebrities to get updates about what they're doing. What about 30 years from now? What will the world look like by 2050? What advancements do you think we'll see in technology or communication? How might this change our daily lives and what is important to us now? It's not a matter of opinion anymore. It's a fact. In 2050, the world will be significantly different from today. We already have a pretty good idea of where things are headed based on what we have now. In this video, I will share the top 10 ways that technology is expected to advance and change the world by 2050. Number 10. Self-driving cars By 2050, cars will drive themselves. Some people might think that this will be a scary thought, but it won't. Most accidents are caused by human error, and self-driving cars can solve that problem for good. Attempts to make self-driving cars have already begun by Tesla and other automakers. In 2050, self-driving cars will be the safest mode of transportation too, since computers, one, don't get distracted as human drivers do, two, can see in all directions regardless of weather or time of day, three, can make decisions faster than a human can, four, can communicate with other self-driving cars to avoid accidents. The best thing with self-driving cars is that there will be no DUI or speeding laws. Humans will no longer need to worry about driving their cars, and they can use that time for something else. Number 9. Smart Computers In 2050, the world's computers will not only be in our homes and phones, but everywhere in our lives. And that is not necessarily a bad thing. Smarter computers will be in our cars, clothes, TVs, and even our bodies. We already have Google Glass, which is basically a wearable computer. In the future, we will see computers implanted into people's brains so they can communicate telepathically with each other, though this may sound like science fiction today. In 2050, all devices such as phones, computers, and cars will be connected. This can be a great thing, since computers can make tasks easier with artificial intelligence AI, collect data from the internet for analysis that could improve our lives in many ways. One downside of this advancement might be cyber attacks on these systems. Privacy will always remain a major concern when it comes to computers. Number 8. Virtual Reality By 2050, virtual reality VR, might not only be used for entertainment but as an integral part of our daily activities. Every form of media, including television and movies, can be replaced by VR technology in the future. Already, there are virtual reality headsets that you can use to watch your favorite TV show or movie and play games. In the future, we might even be able to live our lives through virtual avatars of ourselves. One downside is this could lead us away from real life and more into a world of entertainment and escapism. It also may cause issues with personal relationships as people may prefer VR over the real world. Number 7. Digital Currency In our world today, it might be hard to imagine living without paper money or credit cards. But in 2050, that will be a reality. In fact, it's already happening. Do you use Apple Pay or Google Wallet on your phone? If you don't, then I'm sure that some of your friends do. In 2050, people will have more efficient and secure ways than paper money to pay for things. Just think about it. Who would want to go back to using cash when you can just use your card? No one, unless you are buying illegal stuff. When you use a debit or credit card at a store now, all your information is stored on their servers, so why not make it more convenient for you? Why not just have your cards connected to your phone, so all you need is it and a fingerprint scan? Then the cashier will know who you are, how much money they can charge on your card or debit account. Let's not even speculate about cryptocurrency. Number 6. Artificial Intelligence In 2021, we already have machines that can help us with our work or chores at home without asking someone to do it for us. 
For example, we have dishwashers, self-checkouts at grocery stores, and ATMs that will give you your money when you need it. In 2050, we're going to have even more machines like these. Expect, for example, that robots will clean our homes, cook our meals, and do all the laundry. Mowers will cut the grass for us at home or in a park. No more raking leaves. Number 5. Faster Transportation Recently, China unveiled a maglev bullet train that can travel 600 kilometers per hour, 373 miles per hour. That is faster than an airplane. Using magnetic levitation, the train can potentially go even faster than that because it's not touching the rails. This service makes it possible to live in Washington, D.C. and work in New York City because the commute would be less than 40 minutes. There are even more revolutionary transportation concepts such as Elon Musk's Hyperloop train, which would push the speed to 1,200 kilometers per hour, 745 miles per hour, and reduce a commute between Los Angeles and San Francisco from 6 hours to just 30 minutes. Number 4. Health We already have wearable technologies that measure our heart rate, blood pressure, and other health-related stats. In 2050, we will have even more advanced technology that can check for diseases early or prevent them before they happen. Digital health is a growing industry and it's not going anywhere. Companies like Apple, Google, Samsung, and other companies are investing billions in the healthcare industry by creating devices that can stick to our bodies or even ingest so they can monitor our health from inside of us. There are already attempts to make it possible for doctors to remotely monitor, diagnose, and even provide treatment to patients. In the future, we will have access to more information than ever before, making us healthier people. Why get a physical when you can just check your health with an app? Number 3. Killer Robots We already have drones that can fly by themselves and travel to remote locations. Many of these drones are equipped with deadly weapons used in military operations, but we still need a human to pull the trigger. In 2050, it's possible that we can have AI-powered robots that use sophisticated sensors to recognize enemy forces and can attack on their own. There is already a heated debate on the ethical aspect of using autonomous robots that can kill. Some think it's a necessary step to save human lives, but others believe we should not give machines the power of life and death. Number 2. Augmented Reality In the next decade, we will have virtual reality and augmented reality technologies that can put you in a different world using only your eyes or a device. Some headsets already use holographic technology to generate virtual images to see things from all angles. But what about smelling? Israeli scientists say they have developed a breakthrough that may lead to smell vision TVs, fragrant digital photographs with a scent of vacation, and technology that can print any odor. Number 1. Mars our Earth is a deteriorating and relatively small planet. It's only about 12,700 kilometers, 7,700 miles wide at the equator, with a circumference of nearly 40,000 kilometers. The human population has increased rapidly in the past few years and is expected to reach about 10 billion by 2050. Where are we going to put all these people? In 2050, it's possible to see human colonization of Mars or another planet. NASA and private companies such as Musk's SpaceX have already announced plans to send humans to Mars in the next decade. If we don't tackle climate change and lower our current carbon footprint, there is scientific consensus that large parts of our lovely planet will become inhabitable by 2050. Let's hope we don't have to leave Earth, folks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch our next video on how will we survive on Mars. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.